We're here at the final round of the Aeon Uni 7 series held right here on the beautiful Gold Coast. My name is Jess Beer, I'm a current Griffith University student and today we'll be catching up with a few of our players and support staff. Let's see how they go. It's been so important for the development of women's rugby sevens. The quality of competition has improved over the four rounds of the tournament. And this comes from the Olympic gold medal win from the Aussie Pearls women's team in um, 2016. And from that, you've seen a massive spike in participation around Australia from young girls, but more specifically Queensland and the Gold Coast. Griffith have had a really strong squad like since the beginning we've been training twice a week um, up in Brisbane so a lot of fitness and a lot of like skills and tactics that we've been working on. Every tournament they progressed and got better and got stronger as a team like they gelled a lot better and it was just so cool to be a part of that and experience that with them. Seeing how the tournaments run uh, through the backside being managers is just it's so cool for when we are higher up in the field. I think for women in sport, and but particularly rugby sevens, off the back of our Olympic gold medal success, we needed a pathway. For these girls, it's an incredible opportunity to play in front of the national coaches and staff and you know, hopefully get picked up one of the contracts that are luring there at the moment to join the senior squad with us. Dentistry is an incredibly demanding degree. How have you gone balancing your sporting and academic commitments? Yeah, I'm not going to say it's easy, but fortunately I'm not in this by myself. The sports college have helped me out so much organising my timetables. I've had to reschedule an exam to be here. I'm always organised and I'm fitting in bits of study in the back of the tent by myself, which I like a bit of a loser, but that's okay. I guess that's what you want to do if you want to have the best of both. I would say that it's onwards and upwards from here. It's such an amazing game and this is really setting a pathway to the Australian team. Do you?